So, Tyrell Malassia is now on talks with Man United right now to discuss personal terms confirmed by Fabrizio Romano and other reliable sources are saying that Tyrell Malassia has chosen Manchester United and if he's chosen Manchester United, then it's a done deal, then it's happening once they agree terms. So, Manchester United have their first signing wrapped up in Tyrell Malassia or you could say their second signing because remember, it was said Man United will not move for other targets until De Jong is a done deal. Um, every kind of outlet is basically saying De Jong is basically a done deal, but it's not a done deal. It's 99% done. So maybe De Jong's a done deal when it's our second signing. But Tyrone Malassia to Manchester United is a done deal. Well, technically, it's not an official done deal. We don't have a here we go yet. But we know from a top, top source, there's an agreement with Feyenoord. And if Malassia chooses Man United, then it will be a done deal. And well, he's chosen Man United. Now we just have to agree on personal terms, which we obviously won't F up. It basically was came out earlier that basically all that needs to be done for Tyrell Malassia to United to be done is Tyrell Malassia to pick up the phone and say yes. And that is what he's done. Malassia has today said he wants to join Man United has picked us over Leon. Now, very, very reliable sources, including Fabrizio Romano and good Dutch sources and good journalists with links to Feyenoord, have confirmed that the proposal that was agreed with Feyenoord is a 15 million euro package with 3 million euros in potential add-ons, which takes it to about 14 million pounds, which I think is an absolute joke of a transfer. And like, when I say joke, I mean that in a good way. Like, this is a joke of a deal good money like i think this is a steal like i've watched this guy play twice and i am sold on him you know it was said by melissa reddy that eric tenog appreciates tyro malice's speed positional awareness high interception rate and ability to attack space malice fits the profile of the player he wants at united we obviously had the failing or director come out frank arson and confirm the news that man united are trying to hijack the malice deal and that there was an agreement and that they're now waiting for tyro's decision and obviously, we know Tyrell's decision is Manchester United, which is being reported and the transfer is imminent. And again, 1908NL, which is a top tier uh, Dutch source, the first people to even link us to um, Malaysia back in May, and said it was between us and Leon like two months ago, I said it's a 15 million euro fixed fee with two millions in add-ons. So it'll be about 14 million pounds, which I think is a steal. 22 years old, young, versatile left back, very good defensively. I think if you could compare him to a Premier League left back, you see, Tierney because he's very good defensively but he's very quickly got a decent cross on him good one-on-one -on -one, good at finding space his only weaknesses are probably aerial ability and maybe he's a little bit rash but that can easily be worked on and there's a video and I don't know if you guys have seen it on Twitter where Eric Tenag is like who's that kid at left back he's amazing and that he's talking about Tyro Malassir and you know everyone who watches the area Eredivisie said he's been the best left back in the area Eredivisie look I've always said you know I need a right back more than a left back I think Luke Shaw is our best full back but if you get Tyro Malassia, you can get rid of Tellers, you can get rid of uh, Williams. And I think the money you get for Williams and Tellers would cover the, cover the fee for this, you know. And Malassia and short left back, good options. Malassia is defensively sound, so he could tuck in as maybe Tenog's third centre back because he sort of does that. You know, he lines up in a 4 2 3 one, but he plays a different way as well. But he's chosen us. The deal is done. And I think the madness is how quick that deal is done. And that is our first transfer, technically second, because De Jong is done. And maybe Ericsson this week and Merton Madness has begun so smash a like smash a subscribe there will be some live streams and stuff discussing this with you guys but yeah obviously the deal isn't 100 percent done and wrapped up but it's basically 100 percent happening unless something catastrophic happens all we've got to do is agree personal terms he's picked us we've agreed a price with feyenoord we're in the final stages i expect it to be done within the next 24 hours